All right, Tom, where are we headed today? Headed to California, San Luis Crispo. San Luis Crispo. So we are here in Philly at the Admiral, the Admiral Club. And Mr. Murray, is this your uh, first time? In first time in the club. <laughs> yeah. Fruit. San Luis Obispo. The local time is approximately 11.50 a.m. Look how nice that is back there. I've never been to Switzerland, but I feel like that's kind of what Switzerland looks like according to pictures. Am I right? So we are here in California for just a couple of days, about 36 hours actually. I am here with Future Ready Schools and I'm gonna let Tom tell you a little bit about Future Ready Schools because he knows way better than me. The first thing I actually want to say is I was looking forward to eating local here in California. <laughs> So Scott recommended the local, it's called uh, the Panda Express. That's right. I believe that's local here in the middle of California. So Future Ready Schools is an organization that raises money um, to be able to support school and district leaders across the country in the work that we do. So we don't charge for any of the things we do. We hold events. Uh, we put on ongoing professional learning. It's very grounded in practice and grounded in those that are actually doing the work in schools. And then we get to work with and hire people like Scott to come in to show the great things that are happening in schools across the country so that they, we can turn around and work with those school and district leaders. So tomorrow I'm gonna to be working with uh, 50 to 60 superintendents and assistant superintendents. Those are the folks that are running school districts. Uh, we'll do, be doing some visioning and strategic planning and uh, those kind of activities to be able to create the schools that our kids need to thrive as today's modern learners. A little sweet action. Not too bad. Uh, so one thing I forgot to mention, and I just realized like now as I talk to the camera, like for the last couple of days, I've been actually trying a different lens on the EOS R. So as you know, I was using the 16 to 35 before, and I absolutely love the lens. I think it looks great. I think everything about it is phenomenal. The only problem with it is it's a really big lens on the EOS R, and because of the 4K crop, it really zooms in a lot. And so I was trying to find something that was a little bit more portable, and so I thought to myself, I wonder if I could use the Canon 10 to 18, like the F4.5 to 5.6, like the very cheap, inexpensive wide lens that everyone used for vlogging for a long time. And oddly enough, I was thinking to myself that it would, obviously, it's an APS-C size lens, so it would have like a weird, obviously, you couldn't use it on full frame, it would, you'd see the, the obviously, the part of the lens, I don't know what the term is for it. But, because of the crop, you don't see it. And yet I get an actual 16 millimeter equivalent in 4K, so this is that lens. And I've been using it for the last like three or four days, it's actually pretty decent. See, my thought is I wanted to have like a lens that was a little bit more portable and wide and easy to carry around for vlogging. Without question, the 16 to 35 L lens is a better quality lens, but I really don't feel like this is terrible looking at all. Obviously the F4.5 can be a little tough when it comes to like low light stuff, but I don't see it as a huge deal because in the crazy event that there's just some noise in the shot in a vlog, it's just not that big of a deal to me. So I'm thinking that this might just work pretty decently. This is also a stabilized lens, which I like because the 16 to 35 is not. So obviously not having the stabilization from the GH5 ever since using the EOS R is obviously something you get used to because I'm used to incredible stabilization. But the fact that this has IS on the lens definitely helps a little bit. It's so much smaller, see? See how much smaller it is? Yeah, we are looking for some wineries near us. Hi friends, a little abrupt fast forward to the next day, but uh, wrapped up a good night yesterday. Went on to dinner, I didn't bring the camera along with me, so we're kind of fast forwarding to the next day. Excited to get this day going. It's uh, early, I woke up really early because I'm on East Coast time and ready to roll. We already had breakfast, grabbing some coffee. Now I'm just working on a little bit of editing before we go and shoot today. So, uh, Let's do this. So what you'll see me do a lot is actually bounce back and forth all the time between my in-ear monitors, the built-in speakers in the MacBook Pro, and AirPods because I always have found that it's very important, as I've mentioned before in videos, to just listen to things on different audio sources because these aren't necessarily gonna be as accurate as just the everyday listener. And even though I love these, and even though these are very expensive, they're not what the average person hears. Most people will listen on either their computer or on their AirPods or on some sort of device that's obviously not really designed for like high fidelity sound. So I'm always bouncing back and forth between the computer, higher end speakers, little AirPods, 
anything I can when I'm on the road, even my iPad, constantly just bouncing back and forth between those things to be able to get a good indication of what the audio sounds like so I can make sure it's pretty accurate and pretty well-rounded no matter what device you're listening to it on. So. That's one of the tricky things about traveling is I don't have, have everything with me all the time, but I have the main things and that's really what I try to bounce back and forth between. Time to do some filming. Also, some of you had asked like how the case worked out for the first time based on my last video and the answer is it worked out great. I was able to bring it on both the planes. No one said anything. I even put in the checking thing just to double check and it was perfect. It's a great case. I did link it in that other video, but if I remember, I'll link it here as well. It's a great case. I cannot believe how much I was able to fit and it's just so much more portable, so I'm excited. So it's finally a little bit sunny out, actually ridiculously sunny out, but it feels nice to finally get some uh, non-clouds and non-rain. But we wrapped up a great day of filming, spent about five hours filming, well, not five hours filming, five hour workshop, just filming a lot of random stuff in the middle of the workshop, but everything went really, really good. Now we're just here for the rest of the night to just enjoy it, enjoy the weather. Let's enjoy this night. Okay, seriously. It's times like these that I'm just so thankful that I have a drone and there was no chance that I wasn't flying it. Check out these views. Was it right in the silhouette? Yeah.